good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all those around the globe tuning in to our live coverage of the Joint Olympics. Athletes from two countries are about to go knee to knee as they vie for gold. The stakes of this competition, or sketch about the knee, couldn't be higher. The knee is the largest and perhaps most complex modified hinge joint in humans, enabling flexion and extension. Four bones make up the knee, the femur, tibia, patella, and fibula, and they share three articular surfaces, the medial and lateral tibiofemoral joints, which link the femoral condyles to the proximal tibia, and patellofemoral joint, which connects the patella to the trochlear groove of the femur. The knee also contains supportive structures such as the joint capsule, which encases the knee joint, the medial and lateral meniscus, and the ligaments, which also stabilize the knee. The four major ligaments are the anterior cruciate ligament, ACL, posterior cruciate ligament, PCL, medial collateral ligament, MCL, and lateral collateral ligament, LCL. All right, these games only happen once every four years, so let's get started. Runners, take your mark, get set. <coughs> Rounding the corner to the front of the track, we'll talk about ACL tears. This first place Olympian at the very front should remind you that the ACL is the most commonly injured knee ligament. ACL injuries commonly occur in sports that involve sudden changes in movement or an awkward landing from a jump, as shown here by our steeplechase star. Awkwardly landing into a water ditch after hopping over a hurdle. Ow, that's got to hurt. The underlying mechanism generally involves twisting the knee with the foot firmly planted. Patients often notice a popping sound immediately before the onset of pain and swelling due to hemarthrosis in the knee. They might also feel like their knee is buckling or giving out, but for the record, these findings are not specific to ACL tears and can be present with other knee ligament injuries. The anterior drawer and Lachman tests are handy exam maneuvers that can detect ACL tears. The anterior drawer test is performed with the patient lying supine and the knee bent at 90 degrees. With the foot stabilized on the table, pull the tibia anteriorly, like trying to open a drawer, hence this uh, open drawer. Not sure traveling with a chest of drawers is more convenient than luggage, but at least you get to skip the packing step. On the other hand, or knee for that matter, the Lachman test is more sensitive, which means it can identify more people with ACL tears. To remember the Lachman test, picture this lock necklace. To perform the Lachman test, pull the tibia anteriorly while stabilizing the femur with the knee flexed at 30 degrees. Heads up, we're looking for anterior laxity, or forward displacement of the tibia relative to the femur. A positive test is strong evidence of an ACL tear. <laughs> 